Brie, it's been like three weeks. Where's the vlog for Wizard World? I know. I know. I know. I said I would make that like my main priority when it came to this vlog. I was so excited to meet Jason Momoa to go to my first big convention and then I didn't post a vlog about it. Now let it be known, I did film a vlog about it. However, I did something really stupid. Now I'm not too sure what I did that was so stupid, but the little thing on the converter I used kept saying, error, error, error. And when that happens, I usually just like throw everything out and start again, except I was so busy with real work and my internship that I was like out of time. I went from having like one day at work to having every single day at work. And I know it seems that like I don't have a life, but I kind of do have a life. It's a sad life, but it's a life. So let's just start all over and I'll tell you about Wizard World and we're going to try to make this as successful as the first vlog I shot for this. And that vlog wasn't too successful, so it's not like... We can only go up from here. So I did try to vlog about this in the car the night before because I was at my college's baccalaureate. And it went a little something like this. I'm looking in the wrong place, aren't I? I'm supposed to be looking right here. But right now I'm just going to sit in my car. I have some cold chicken nuggets. Here's the cold chicken nuggets. And I need to cut that out. Remind me to cut that out. Um, so technically nobody is supposed to be in this parking lot for commencement, but they're going to give us all parking violations. So that was painfully awkward and cringy, and I'd really like to stop being that awkward on camera because you might be surprised, but I'm really not that awkward in real life. I'm awkward but it's not that bad. It might seem that bad, but it's not. And I really wanted to be able to talk about Wizard World while being in the moment, but it's kind of awkward when your dad's right beside you and he's driving. And I didn't want to be that daughter who's like, hey, we're here, we're vlogging, here's my dad, hi dad. And he was great enough to drive me there. He bought the tickets, it was my birthday present. And I really, really honestly am so appreciative of that, but I'm not going to force him to be in on the internet if he doesn't want to be. But the drive there was nothing too spectacular. It rained a lot, so it looked a little something like this. straight out of the Twilight Zone to be quite honest with you. It was a little bit creepy at times. I didn't know where this convention center was and I probably should have looked it up before we went or something. But we just kind of winged it and went. Um, we parked in this really sketchy parking lot in Chinatown and walked to the convention center from there. It wasn't a very long walk but it was raining which I will get to because I was really really salty about the rain. And we got caught in the rain for like half an hour because somewhere along the way they stopped letting people in and the line wrapped around the building and it, it would move every so often and when it moved, it really moved. But then it just stopped moving. And we were unfortunately in that group where we just stopped moving. And I was really sad because Maggie was there. And if you don't know who Maggie is, she's my best friend. We have a side YouTube channel together where we talk about our adventures. You might have seen our Steel City Con video. And she was there doing press. He was like, let's hang out, where are you? Come on. I have no idea where I am. I'm outside the convention center. I don't know what side of the convention center I'm on. I don't know what street I'm on. I don't even know if I'm at the right convention center. 
Okay, I knew I was at the right convention center, but you get my drift. So finally, we get inside, and it's like a freaking miracle that we got inside. We were tired, we were a little bit hungry, a little grouchy, because we were caught in the rain for so long. But I didn't realize just how big the convention was, and I was so nervous that I everything was just overwhelming to me. And I felt bad because I was there to have fun, but I was just so nervous this whole time. But I was just so overwhelmed, and it was really great because if you've never been to a convention, I think they get a bad rap of being extremely nerdy and everybody there is a huge weirdo. In reality, the majority of the people there are super, super nice and accepting and willing to help you. And I shouldn't have been as nervous as I was because a lot of the workers were volunteers and they were extremely helpful and they were just wanting to help you out. And that was really great. But we all know I'm shy, I'm awkward. I'm also like the height of a hobbit, so I don't get mis- like, people always think I'm younger than I actually am. So I look like a child in this convention center. And I think that's why they felt so bad for me at times, because I look so tiny and awkward. But as a lot of you know, I was there to meet Jason Momoa, who plays Aquaman in Justice League and Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones. Now I've never really watched Game of Thrones, I've seen a couple episodes. And I have the book. I said I'm going to read it. I will read it eventually. But, um, I was there to meet Jason Momoa because I really do like Justice League. I'm a huge DC fan. I like Marvel too, but I grew up with DC and I really do love it. And this was my 20th birthday present. I've been looking forward to it since January. I wore my Justice League shirt. I did my makeup. I spent some time doing my hair. The day of the convention rolls around, I'm breaking out like a convict, my makeup sweats off and like runs off in the rain, and because my hair is naturally curly, I'm caught in the rain for an hour and it just frizzes so bad. And I get in there and I just look like crap. I feel like I look horrible. And I wanted to look so nice to meet Jason Momoa, not because like I'm trying to steal Lisa Bonet's man or something. Just because I wanted to make a good impression, and I didn't want to like look like I just rolled out of bed and showed up. I met him way sooner than I would have expected because he was the first celebrity booth when you walked in. And my dad and I just happened to be walking forward and my dad's like, that's him, right? That's Aquaman. I've seen Justice League, that's Aquaman. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't take a picture with him yet because I have my assigned time and he's doing autographs right now. My dad's like, do you want to get an autograph? Because you're getting a picture, you may as well just get an autograph. And so we get in line to get an autograph. They don't take cash, we have to go back and buy a ticket. And then we get into his line, it's still short because it's early. And we get up there, and it's not like Steel City, which I didn't expect it to be like Steel City. I know that sounds like dumb, like, of course it's not going to be like Steel City. Steel City is like a little Pittsburgh convention. This is Wizard World Philadelphia. I know, I get it, believe me. So, I get up there and they're like, yeah, just take a picture you want signed. And usually in Steel City, they're a little bit more, like, they watch you take the picture. They put your name on it because you can get it personalized because they have more time. I get it. He did not have time. He was a very busy man that day. He had, like, a bunch of photo groups and he was in a hurry because he was a headliner and a lot of people were there for him. I totally get that. I don't care that I didn't get my picture personalized. I don't care. And... Um, they were a lot more strict, like, he did not get a lot of time to talk to people, and I felt so bad, because he's a really nice guy, he's a lot more quiet than you'd expect, and you could kind of tell that he was trying to give me time to speak, and I just could not speak. He was looking at me, like, smiling, he says hi, he says hi to my dad, which I'm sure made my dad feel great. And he's looking at me like, you gonna say something? And I'm just completely starstruck and I felt so bad because he has the nicest smile, he has the most twinkling eyes and they're so bright. I can't even say like proper words to describe how great he is, but he is so great. And he's really nice, he's just a lot more quiet than you'd expect. And he comes off as such a loud, boisterous person in interviews. 
but he's just a really chill dude and he has a really calming personality and I think that was really great for me because I was so nervous and I was so nervous for the photo op because I felt like I was just gonna trip and fall or something and meeting him first and getting his autograph was really great for me because I just had a moment to just calm down and I under like I understood that he's not as scary as, he th as I would have expected there was nothing to be afraid of nothing to be shy about he's just a guy like everyone else and that helped me because he is the biggest celebrity I've met and I was so scared I was like gonna screw this up by saying something dumb like I did with Richard Dreyfus or something yeah I've never done a photo op before this is my first photo op I had no idea what I was doing and I got the waitlist pass for Jason Momoa because I didn't want to be there all day and we had to get back to our house which was five hours away we did the drive in one day we were those idiots that did the drive in one day we went there in the morning and then after I was done with my picture we drove back um so I got in the line and thankfully the lady in front of me there's always that one person at a convention that will talk to you and like makes the effort to like be nice and talk to you and comfort you thankfully this woman did not think I was a complete weirdo when I was like have you ever done this before and she's like, you've never taken a picture before. No, 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 I've, I've taken pictures before. Like, I've, you know, I've taken pictures. No, I mean, like, I know you've taken pictures before, but you've never done photo ops. I've never, yeah. I, I was that awkward idiot. I was like, yeah, I've taken pictures before. You know, duh. Um... But she was really great about like saying like what the process was. You just throw your bags down onto a table. They shove you kind of in there. You get like 10 seconds. You do the pose. And then you go. And I mean it was a hectic thing. Like it, it moved so fast that I felt so bad. I felt like I was awkward. And I did the same thing I did when I first met him at the autograph table. Where it's like I wanted to seem enthusiastic. I want to seem like I was a down-to-earth person, which we all know I am. So Jason Momo was like, hey, my dumb ass goes, hi! And, yeah, you get ten seconds, so I just kind of tripped into his arms. Now at this point, this was like my peak in life. Let's face it, people, I'm not going to get, it doesn't get much better from here. So, I run, I cling to him like he's my last shred of dignity, because at this point he pretty much is. My hair's a mess, my makeup has melted off, my acne is acting up, and I'm, like, at the height of my anxiety, I was desperate to have a good time, and this was like the peak of everything in life. So I smile, hope to God I haven't blinked, and I put my arms around him like this. This is Jason Momoa, in case you were wondering. Chewbacca is now Jason Momoa. It's Aqua Chewbacca. But yeah, I felt kind of bad for just kind of like doing this, but I was just so awkward. And he just put his arm around me. He smelled so good. I didn't like s inhale his scent. I didn't purposely smell him. I mean, I got a lot of like, hey, Rhiannon, tell us what he smells like, but I didn't like go in there with the intent to inhale him. It just kind of, like his scent was just so strong that I just kind of smelled it. It was like this musky cologne. It smelled really good. But that was my experience, and the lady in line that talked to me caught me after my photo and like asked me if I did okay, if I think my photo went well and I thanked her for being so nice to me because I was so awkward and yeah I went to go find Roger because the fantastic dad decided to split up for me for a while because he had to go to the bathroom and I'm like dad it's time for the photo dad um he didn't want to be in the picture anyways I think he was like he wanted to get away from me for a little while and just let me have my minute with my minute of glory I want to do a quick haul of what I got because my dad was really excited to walk around and see what like what kind of merchandise they had and I did get quite a few things. I bought two things and um, a lot of the other stuff I got was just giveaway stuff 
because there are a ton of sponsors, and my dad liked going to those booths just to see what we could get. Dr. McGillicuddy's was giving out these cute little mustache keychains, which I got, and it, apparently it's a bottle opener, but I don't, I don't drink, I'm not 21, and I'm boring, so I don't really drink anyways, which I mean, that's illegal, I would never do such a thing, but I don't, I don't drink. I mean, I'm sure my parents will get use out of theirs, because my dad also got one, but honestly, I just think it's cute, because it's a little mustache. I'm Henry Cavill in Mission Impossible. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, got this. I got this Ocean's 8 poster, which got crinkled up in my luggage because it's a five hour trip. I just threw everything in one bag. Um, yeah. I have to find a way to flatten it out. Technically, I got two Jurassic World bags. But Maggie works for another website that specializes in Jurassic Park stuff, and she's a huge Jurassic Park fan. She has a Jurassic Park tattoo, so my dad got one of these and I got the other, and I gave her the other bag because she missed the booth that was giving these away. Um, I collect Pop Funkos, if you haven't, you wouldn't have noticed because they're on top of my bed, but... I collect Pop Funkos and I'm a huge Sherlock fan, so I got this Sherlock Funko with the violin. I want to try to find the other ones because they had Irene Adler, but I didn't get that one because I thought I was only going to get one thing. So I ended up just getting this Funko. I mean, I didn't expect to get this Funko. Like, this wasn't one where I was like, let's get a Sherlock Funko today. But it was the one that really popped out to me, and it was retired, so I was like, you know what, I'll get a Sherlock Funko. I really like Sherlock. So, the past few conventions, I've really been looking for one specific thing, and this is so lame, but it was a Totoro plush, because Dan and Phil, <laughs> of course it's because of Dan and Phil, Dan and Phil have a Totoro plush, and I always see it in their videos, and I just think it's adorable, and I've always wanted one even before Dan and Phil, so I got a Totoro plush and my dad was like so like weirded out because he's like what's a Totoro? and he only knows one Studio Ghibli film and it is Kiki's Delivery Service he didn't like Howl's Moving Castle that much and so he's like what's a Totoro? I don't get it it's kinda weird looking but um he went and was like talked to the vendor and was like, that one. So I got Totoro. This is my autograph I got of Jason Momoa. He spends a long time signing autographs. Like he took his time writing this. Which you can kind of tell because it's a nice autograph and it's very swoopy. And I think he takes a long time to give people like time to speak a little bit. But I did not take advantage of that because I was just so starstruck. And now that I look back on it, I feel kind of bad for not talking. But I was just so shy and awkward. And this is the picture that we got together. I look really short. For reference, I believe he's six foot four. I'm five foot one, so I'm not really the tallest person around. I'm not really even the most average person around. But yeah. I had so much fun at Wizard World, and I really hope that I can go to another bigger convention again, because this was a lot of fun. And I definitely would recommend spending more time there than my dad and I did. And while we still had fun, I feel like we did miss out on a few things. And we did see a lot of things, and we did have a lot of fun. And I definitely, like, I don't regret going. I do feel bad that my anxiety kind of got the best of me at, towards the beginning, because I was so nervous about screwing everything up. But, I definitely feel like if I went again, I'm more prepared, I understand what's going on, and I feel more comfortable doing the autographs and the pictures and stuff like that, just like, as opposed to like, the smaller environment of Steel City. But yeah, I definitely would like to go again. And thank you for watching this, I know that my vlogs are still a little bit awkward, I feel like I've gotten better though because I'm not as nervous turning on the camera and speaking. I still kind of stumble over words, but I'm getting there. But yeah, thank you for watching. 
and hopefully my next video is not as painfully awkward.